The committee to end the CSI Refugee Center came up short on their petition by almost 3,000 signatures. Courtney Solomon was able to talk with people from both sides of the argument and brings you this story. Twin Falls has been accepting refugees for over 30 years. They have no country now. They're, they cannot go back to their original home. We've done our part honorably since then, but we're maxed out. Martin suggests that the Magic Valley has too many refugees that take up housing and jobs. Young people struggle to find work that pays a living wage because refugees are given jobs at 825 an hour that the college is able to subsidize through federal grants. Our unemployment rate is so low here. We have employers who are, they are looking, they are actively seeking um, employees. Another main concern is security. There is a difference between an immigrant and a refugee. Gaining refugee status is a long process. It's actually easier and less time consuming getting into the country with a work visa or as a tourist. They're actually the most screened type of people that can get into our country. And they go through interviews and they go through background checks. The FBI has reported to Congress they do not have the ability to do background checks from refugees coming from the Middle East. In Twin Falls, I'm Courtney Solman, Idaho's First News. Now, Martin says they have retained an attorney who has drawn up necessary paperwork that the Board of Trustees could vote on in November. Now, it would dissolve the Refugee Center at CSI after the current refugees have completed the program.